I see dead people. Yeah, that line has been parodied so many times throughout the years. <laughs> the Sixth Sense came out in 1989 and was written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, I know we've all heard that name. He was writing high after this movie. Then came Unbreakable, which was also a hit. And then came uh, Signs, which was... Which did okay, and then his career just sort of went took took and took a few dives with the visit. No, 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 the happening, the village, Lady in the Water, and the one that really took a serious dive and really fell was the Last Airbender. But he then made a comeback with the the visit, which I like, Split, which was good, and. The soon to be upcoming in January class, which looks promising. But it, I, The Sixth Sense wasn't his first film, it just it was the film that gave Shyamalan. It got him very well known, got him out there. People were calling him the next Spielberg or the next Kubrick. I don't know. What it, The Sixth Sense. The film is about a, a boy named Cole, played by Haley Joe Osmond, who is very introverted and very troubled. His mother, played by Toni Collette, wants to help him but doesn't know what to do. The, the fact that he's just so troubled and doesn't know she won't, won't confide in her, what's, what's wrong? So, child psychologist Malcolm Crowe, played by Bruce Willis, tries to help him. <clears throat> And once they start bonding and forming a good relationship, he finally tells Malcolm he sees dead people. Now, you may think it's a nightmarish thing, but no, he actually does see dead people walking around. Nobody else sees them but him. And Malcolm is anxious to help Cole because of uh, his failure to help a previous patient. And... And he doesn't, and wants to right that wrong by helping Cole because he feels Cole is is very similar to this other patient. <clears throat> How will it all play out? Well, you're gonna have to see the movie to find out. And of course, you know there is a twist at the end. I'm sure a lot of you've seen this movie already know the twist, but I don't want to give anything away in case you haven't seen this movie. This movie was good. It w it had some good jump scares, but it also had good acting. Bruce Willis was great as a psychiatrist. I mean, you wouldn't expect Bruce Willis to give such a cool, subtle performance, but he does very well. He proved he's more than just a typical action guy. I mean, he's done it before, but he really proves it here. And his scenes with Osmond are great. I mean, they just really play off each other perfectly. Haley Joe Osmond, who I think his only big roles at that time were the Jeff Foxworthy show and Tom Hanks' son in Forrest Gump. But he's not like one of those... He, he proved he wasn't one of those child stars who has to sell, the, sell certain scenes just by being cute. I mean, he really shows his acting chops here. I mean, you really feel bad for him. You really feel the sad emotions he goes through, the troubleness of of this gift. He he uh, he thinks it's a curse, but then as the film goes on, Bruce Willis helps him understand it's it's, it's not a curse; it's a gift. And I, I I really like that their relationship the the bonding they those two form with each other and Tony Collette was good as um as as Osmond's mother Haley Joe Osmond is a good young actor it's a shame his career didn't go as high as it should have I mean not that it went real low but it didn't go real high up it just kind of stayed in between yeah M Night proved he is a very capable director. I mean, he just... This movie proves it. This movie really got him in the mainstream. It, it's it got good scares and, a, and good heart to it, too. So I give The Sixth Sense 
A 10 out of 10. Bye-bye. Happy Halloween.